Hello everyone, this is Lisa and welcome to Ginsu Ninja Inbu Yumi Neko Kara. So this is an expansion of the original game. Uh, I think it actually goes through the same storyline as the original game, but it's got some extra events and I did this a long time ago, way back um, at, well the first game I did, as the first one I ever done on YouTube, so basically that was full hobby mode and there was no one watching it, so doing it again now because I've wanted to play this for quite a while. I've held back on it for quite a long time because you needed a clear data. I'm just gonna start this before it goes on the opening sequence again. So yeah, you need a clear data for this to um, unlock extra events from the uh, well, clear data from the first game into this expansion game to um, get extra events. But um, supposedly I read the read the read me again that came with a game um, today, and I actually read through the whole paragraph this time. And apparently you can just play clear data for this game. So that's what we're doing. Uh, we're just gonna play through the game and then we'll go through with the clear data, hoping that things change. I don't know how much changes early on, but uh, first thing is that um, for this game, uh, there is um, content up to, I believe, Legacy of Lunatic Kingdom, which is the 15th game. Uh, was it 15th game or 16th game? That's before the most recent, basically. Um, so let me just try and get this to work because I screwed this up just a little while ago. Um, can I just change this and then... Hopefully this is working, so i just type... Okay, there we go. Uh, what should we call ourselves? Good enough. Alright, so this is exactly the same as the first game, so I'm not going to say too much. But basically, you um, arrive at the Hakurei Shrine in the real world as... Um, a lot of the uh, actual Toho lore has, this does exist in the real world. And then we should be uh, able to go into the back and go into Ginsoko, if it's exactly the same as the previous game. Yeah, this place looks kind of trashy. And then there's this person, she's from the fighting game. Alright, so I think it's exactly the same, I think we just need to go around to the back. Did I, is there anything on the bot? Nope. Alright, so you don't actually get anything until you actually get into the next part of the game, I think. <laughs> it's empty! Well, it's empty in the other world as well, where, you know, this, um, shrine is actually functioning. Alright, this person. Um... Alright, so basically, you tell him who's your favourite character in Toho, and then that is your starting puppet that you start with. Well, for all intents and purposes, since, um... We can use the Neo characters. Let's actually pick a Neo character. Uh, how much characters I could... Alright, so uh, yeah, Raiko was the last character that was um, in the previous game. So it's what? The fighting game and then the next Ashuma, uh, basically. Alright, we'll take a Cloud Beast. She joined me in saying the game, but... She's cute, okay? That's fine. Alright, so from what I understand, we just go... Is that Yukari? Huh. In the um, original game, I think that was a Raymond doll. I actually don't know. Alright, so we just... Oh, the layout's changed. Huh. Um, we just go to the back, and then we should be going to the next part. I actually don't know how much of the game's changed. Uh, if you'd rather just go watch the first game, which I did way back... Uh, I think three years ago now, four years ago now. I've actually been on YouTube for a long time, but I don't do any mainstream stuff, so my channel's not really growing much. But... I'll probably, unless it's a new part, I probably won't actually talk too much about what they're saying. Alright, we're going into a different world now. Oh yeah, the layout, I think that's change a bit. Alright, so we're going back and we should be here, yeah. Same event, rustling grass, isn't that great? And I'll pop it. Yeah, we came from the outside. So the basic premise of the story is that puppets suddenly appear to start going wild. Uh, I think that part of the main story stays the same. But even though they're all going wild, this first puppet, I think, is supposed to... Uh... Not be too aggressive? Apparently not. Alright, so um... I think this is just a straight up fight.
Hmm. That looks like a different move. So, tutorial fight. You know the drill for Pokemon style games. Yeah, but the tutorial fight. Right, just out a game that really doesn't. Holy shit. Uh, I mean, much. That was a crit. Alright, so. Yeah, because it's a scripted fight, so. It's kind of strange, it's just standing there. And then it joins you because it likes you for some unknown reason. Do we give it a nickname? No, that's too much if it in a game where it type Japanese the whole time. Uh, she tells you about the. basically what um, is equivalent to Pokeballs, which is the um, ceiling fridge. Yeah. Alright, so let's just go over to the shrine, and that should be going to the main part of the game now. I'm just actually kind of curious how much has actually changed. And here's Sanaya. Yeah, Marissa's bad at explaining things, so here's Sanaya to explain everything. So this is basically just explaining... We're in the, was it parallel universe of um, King Sokyo, basically. And for some reason, there's a lot of puppets that apparently start her around spring. And there's so many of them that it's a problem to deal with. Even though, for some unknown reason, it's people been really, you know, casual about it and just like, yeah, you know what, this is fine. Yeah, apparently, there's so many puppets that's affecting the barrier. So that's why. You got dragged in. Which is actually false because you got dragged in by Yukari. Um, and Rainbow's gone out to actually do something because it's a thick in the barrier. And that's the only time she ever bothers to move. And she's back. I can't actually remember if she comes back in the original game. I feel like this is a little different. It's like, hi, I'm from the outside. And there's been a lot of people coming from the outside recently. Uh, yeah, pretty sure this event is different. <laughs> Since you can't go back there, you may as well uh, just sit around till the... What is it? Incident's over. <laughs> and we get kicked out because she's tired. Yeah, this event is definitely different. You pretty much stay inside the shrine for quite a long time <laughs> to start the previous one. Alright. Here, yeah, that was Rainbow. She's in charge of the barrier. And apparently has weakened. I think that's a little different. And so Marissa's gotta go out to do stuff. And just leaving Sonia to explain her to you. And then suddenly we're having our first battle. Because Marissa's. Got a grand idea of cooking up here. Alright, so... Oh, alright, and your puppet now follows you. Like, it's similar to, I guess, for the old old school people, Pokemon Yellow, and more recently, um, Hako Soul Silver. I think some of the Neo games also have the Pokemon following you. I have no idea. Well, I can't exactly prepare much, so yes. So the most worrying part is that, um, the Mercer doll was kicking my... Picking uh, Clown Peace Doll's ass in the earlier part, so... Uh, Alright, so I've got a sh buff move and attack move. And standard for all of these are... Uh, oh, am I stronger now? Oh, perfect. I think it's a scripted fight where the Mercer is supposed to win the first one. So... It should be okay, because your starting doll is supposed to be really strong. I don't know if I mentioned this, but like the previous game, this is in a glorious box of a window as well, so there'll be black bars on the side. I can't do much about that unless uh, you want some image or something on the side, and I could just shift the window across and just slap the image in. Or some kind of background. 
I can't draw, so it'll have to be someone else's image, which is a slight issue. Alright, so now Sanai is telling us to go to the human village. Yeah, once Raymond comes out, I'll be told to watch the place again. Because <laughs> whenever Sanai is depicted with a friendly relationship with Raymond, this is what she ends up doing half the time. Alright, so, uh, we can now actually move around. So it's already been 10 minutes to get into this part of the game. Alright, so, I'm a fire type. Well, that's fine, I guess. Oh, we actually come equipped with something now. Cool. Alright, yeah, so your starting doll is like this. S, 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 S. Really goddamn strong. Um, I have a green seal, so apparently my speed has increased, which is fine, I guess. Um... I take less damage from super effective hits. That's actually pretty cool. Alright, so first things first, I'm gonna move this around so I don't screw this up as often. Uh, E in. I don't know what that means. Alright, uh, that's a dream move. Dream moves are basically non existent and are basically normal moves. Um, but there's basically two of them in the game. It's. Alright, and. Alright, what do you want? Oh, Fred, cool. Alright, so those are Pokeballs. We get 10 of them. In most Pokemon games, you get 5, so they're pretty uh, generous about this, actually. It's the same idea, you have to um, weaken and then you put the Fred on. But the difference between that and Pokemon is that once the Fred is on, you have to smack them down while the Fred is in the fit. Hopefully I explained that correctly. Um, Alright, so I don't know how much has changed. So I'm, we're just gonna do the usual Pokemon thing, and we're gonna go to the grass! Cause that's what we you do! You get Pokeballs, you go to the grass. Okay, so it doesn't seem like the encounters have changed much. Okay, so... Uh, let's see... The general idea um, is to just grab a couple of uh, puppets to start off. It's... well, okay! Never mind, um... Didn't expect that to happen. Uh, you essentially have an ESP sh or running the whole time, or I think the more recent ESP shares like this as well, where um, it just sends the ESP to the whole team. So, what I want to show right now is how much trasher um, everything else you can get early on is. So let me just try and catch something here. Yeah, that's a defensive move. Did you always have a defensive move? I don't think you had a defensive move before. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna throw the Fred down. Hopefully this will work so we can show off how this works. There we go. So that's how the Fred works, basically. Alright, so, now that's on, we just smack him. Uh, she tanked up twice, so I might not be able to kill her. Okay, good. Wait, what kind of attack do I have? Alright, so then you get them in your team, and you can't really see it yet, but... Let's just go into our menu, once I work out which button that is, and we'll take a look at this. She has got a red seal on. I think that's no flinch. Or something. But you can see the difference in the, um... The, essentially, uh... Actually, is my mouse cursor being captured? It is, okay, so, um... Basically, these stats will be equivalent to, uh, Pokemon IVs. I, is it IVs that don't change? EVs are the ones that you gain, right? Yeah, IVs are uh, basically your preset like stats of how good it'll probably be. Oh, we can actually see that because uh, we can actually see stats level 50. So this is level 50 stats. Um, not the greatest if I look at here. You can see a distinct difference in capability here. So I can go all the way up to like into the 60s as my lowest. Uh, but you see here, highest is like just under 70. So that's basically- ah, oh jeez. Alright, I don't know what just happened to my project. Um, but that's basically the general trend of it. Alright, so anyways, I am going to real quick just capture everything else that's in the grass and then we'll get going. Alright, hey, we're back. So, uh, I'm actually- I've, oh, I think I've been here for maybe like 15 minutes already. But, um, oh, what, wrong button. Uh, we finally got everything. Apparently there's enough stuff in here for a full team. I wasn't aware of that. I don't think that was the case originally. But we have a full team now. 
Uh, you can kind of tell that <laughs> I've been here for a while because the highest level here is four, and um, the stuff I've just gotten is six. All right, so first off, um, not this. Uh, basically, as you fight um, in the post battle menu where you get XP, you also get PP, which is from this part. Uh, basically, you use it to um, learn your skills and increase your abilities. This is a kind of important, mostly after level 30, because that's when uh, you actually do like this class up of the puppet into um, two branches, and basically determines what kind of playstyle you want for that puppet. But the more important thing right now is this. So you can learn your moves, only costs us four to learn a new move. You can actually swap moves in and out as long as you have a PP to do it. So you can actually, um, if you go for a long dungeon, you can actually swap moves in and out to um, Basically, get all your uh, SP back, which is the number of um, well, for in terms of Pokemon, is um, your PP, which is how many more times you use a move. So we've got a new fire move here, so we'll just plop it right here. We can actually get rid of our, our basic moves already for some unknown reason. Uh, change our we can change our ability already. I'll put this also awesome available to um, later. Huh? But my first one is the the. Take this damage is super effective. My second move is actually interesting. It's uh, basically a three out of ten chance to um, confuse enemies by smacking them. All right. So, anyways, we have our whole set of uh, puppets now. They're all trash, um, but it gives us a little bit of diversity to work up. Oh, you have S's. Holy shit! Uh, Endo, apparently you can't hold items. Can you switch that ability? Uh, that ability was um. You don't get affected by your held ability, which is good for if you want to do stupid things like um, sticky barb equivalents, basically. What's the other move? I can't get poisoned. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, to start off the game, basically, um, the first thing you need to know is that in this game, you need two types in your team, no matter what. One is steel, the other one is uh, sound. Um, so, you don't have sound yet, but we have steel, so that's a thing. And also early on in the game, you mess with our switch. Now here is a first trainer battle. Same as usual, this is, oh, this is basically Youngster Joey, where you get my general drifter. And he has an Azrin, because you know, you need a freaking Rattata to beat the crap out of the start of the game. Alright, so we're basically gonna nuke our way through uh, into the human village. It's, what I'm trying to do right now. Um, seeing as the early parts aren't exactly the most exciting thing in the world. Um, but hopefully I can get a couple more things to show off the general system of this game. I'd like to get that all done within the first video. Now apart from classing up because that takes a little while. That requires level 30, and level 30 is a while off. Okay, new skill. Uh, oh yeah, and as you see there, that was a full EXP share. Could have seen that in the trainer battle as well, but I wasn't really paying attention to it, so that's fine, I'll see that again. Alright, so another trainer battle. It's actually interesting how um, these people only have level 4s. It's basically, well, level 3s. It's even lower than uh, the wild, po uh, wild puppets. They're not actual Pokemon. Um, they can get around here. It basically means that no matter what, if you just run straight towards the village, your starter should be able to get through all of them. And pop. This game gets more interesting as you get later because uh, it's kind of the same as Pokemon. Um, you really can nuke each other after a while. Uh, hey, hey, hey! All right, so you don't want to. Yeah, you don't want to um, run to stuff. Don't walk in the grass because that's how they work. And yes, you can still steal stuff. What? Okay, that's different. Huh. That's very different. This was not part of the original game. And can you not poison me, seriously? Oh boy. Well, at least we're right next to a place we can heal. Alright, so uh, we're just gonna tie you up. Yoink. So, you know what? That's a good thing. We showed off something new. I didn't know this could happen, but apparently it can happen. I wonder how many times it could actually happen, though. Is this equivalent, like, equivalent to Hitbutt? 
basically. Uh, no name was Cinder over to the PC. Well, that was random as hell. Alright, so healing. Super fast, you just talk, you heal, you're done. And PC is this thing. Hey, you can actually see people's puppets now. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, do we want to switch anyone out? Mm. Nah, I think we'll just leave this. Poison's are kind of hard to play with until you're a bit into the game. Um, what? Oh yeah, you don't start with any money, but um, in terms of money, after basically every fight, you'll get stuff to sell. And that's basically all your cash. Because um, these things have no use. And you can literally just sell it all off, and you become super rich. Watch my money go up and up and up and up. Alright, we're now at 6,000 gold. So we're just gonna buy a bunch of uh, thread here. We can also get repels, but we don't need that right now. And in the other shop, you buy sweets, and that's basically your healing items. Uh, how much health do we actually have right now? 30. So we could go with just potions, that'll be fine. Uh, we've already got a couple, so we should actually be okay for a little bit. Uh, we really need some status skills, I don't know about that. Uh, mob character's more important. No? Okay, good. Alright, so we're gonna make our way over to the rest of the... ...roots. I'm just trying to check if there's anything else. Hello, person! Didn't attack me. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm trying to remember um, type advantages right now, because I haven't actually played this in quite a while. Alright, fire to wind, how's that go? Nope. For, oh yeah, for reference, when I said um, you basically need a steel type and a sound type in your team pretty much permanently, it's because sound is basically strong to a lot of things and basically weak to nothing but wind. And um, steel is strong to wind, that's basically all you need. Also, most of the sound types are actually quite strong. It's also a thing. They're so hard to deal with, but... You know, that's fine too. Alright, so we're gonna go over... There's a Pokeball down here. Can I just cross my way into it? Nah, I just ran up and just... Oh, Pokeball. I would just reference everything by um, Pokemon terms, because I know that's easier for other people to understand. Here's a Farmer. She's a... Uh, uh, your wood. You will definitely burn. So I'm gonna burn you. Oh yeah, you can basically super effective anyone in this game. A 20 level difference won't save you. That's pretty much what I found playing this game. <laughs> like, well, probably early in the game you can, but later in the game you can literally nuke the shit out of people. Whoop. A 20 level difference. It's actually insane. Um, Alright, so is there anything up here? No, there isn't. So this should be a human village. I think. Right here? Nope. Oh, uh, hi. Medicine. She's essentially the, um, leader of the bad team in this game. Uh, I think the closest reference would probably actually be Team Plasma from Black and White, I believe. Hi, I just found a repel. Alright, so I believe for this part, we're supposed to go up to the, um, Hater uh, house up top. They don't actually give you much indication of what you should be doing. There's also a thing, which is why I'm doing my best to try to remember what I'm supposed to be doing. I just remember you talked to Akio at some point. Uh, I can't remember if that was now or later. Um, I think also Korzuzu's place is a bit more full. Kresame shop. Uh, what do you do again? Oh right, you sell... Uh, but basically... Um, this is like... Uh, the equivalent of like charcoal or... Uh, what's it? The, what's the seed called? Well, it's basically the stat inc or the damage increasing for certain elemental moves. Like... Was it? Black glasses and um... Is it Dragon Fang or Dragon Scale that did Dragon types? What else was there? Uh, soft Sand, the Hard Rock, stuff like that. We don't really need that right now. So we'll go without it. I saw, I think this place sold Fred. 
feel like the mall characters don't do much in this game. Right, so that's one shop. Uh, this is another shop I'm actually kind of interested in, that I'm trying to look for, but I can't find it. Where's the other shop? Oh, you're here. Uh huh. Is it the shop? Oh, yeah. The clothing shop. Is it closed right now? It's closed right now, isn't it? Huh. I don't know if that's still a thing in this game. Because you can switch the, uh, the look of your dolls, and it's actually pretty cool. And these people are still prepared. I don't even know what shop that is. Alright, so we're gonna go up to the Hater House, since we've still got a bit of time to this show, because I want to keep them not too long. So, the most important house, obviously, because it's the biggest one. So, hello. Yeah, she is introducing herself. And apparently the Tinkers already written about us, because that's how they run. Oh, so now I told us to come talk to her. That was a thing. Uh, so in order to return to the outside world, apparently, we've decided to go investigate the puppets. Someone else decided that for us, so you know, because, you know, Pokemon, you can't talk. Main character here, you also can't talk. That's how it goes. Okay, she doesn't know what's happening either. <laughs> yeah, there's no good way to deal with this. This village might be interesting to people from the outside. And there's people, there's bad people hanging around. But I think we'll get to that next time. There's, there's a patch of grass to uh, catch stuff in um, the village. These people really. Oh. That's cool. Um, so I'll be doing that before next time. I think that's pretty much it for this time. Um, I think uh, as we go further along, I'm probably going to do more and more cuts as uh, uh, during the episode. Oh yeah, you. Alright, so basically you need to go down there and um, interrupt them. But uh, anyways, that'll be it for this episode of Total Puppet Dance Performance um, Yumi no Kakera expansion. Probably not going to say that every time because that's just a mouthful. Um, if you want to follow along with the series, remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time.